All right, today we're going to be having a look at the AI planner again, because since the last video that I filmed featuring the AI planner in March, there has been an update and that update is styles. We can add now our styles to the wireframes and I think that is going to be so, so useful to showcase and to show clients how their actual fonts and logos and colors will look on the wireframe to give them a better view of their website. So let's get into it. All right. So if you want to use it, you can try it for free. It will ask you to log in, which I have already done. So you can use the AI note taker. This is a plus and a bonus they offer. They have added Zoom capability. So you can add the Zoom meeting link here and it will take notes for you before it was only Google Meet possible. I have not used it yet, but I have to remember to use it on my next Zoom meeting. So I'm going to go back now. Let's go to uh, projects. And I have here a project that I have worked previously and I have improved it a little bit playing around with the styles and let's see what we have. So I also have added some more pages to the website. Initially it was a landing page, then it kind of made it into a store, but not really a full e-commerce store. So I wanted to see if it can add the e-commerce pages as it should, because that's one of the updates and it has. So I have a shopping cart checkout, order tracking and so much more, right? I have also asked it to uh, add German as a secondary language for the website, but uh, I have to go through that. I have to do it myself, but, 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 but if you are a beginner and you don't know how to do that, it explains to you the steps that you have to take. So the way I see um, the, uh, the site planner is you have a body, you have someone to guide you because for example, three years ago, when I started building websites, I had no clue about anything like this. And Google, let's face it, is so full of so much garbage and you can waste so much time. But if you are focused here and you think about what you want to prompt it, it's going to help you quite a lot. And I find it useful and I'm a little bit more experienced. So, yeah, yeah, as you can see, the brief is quite substantial in a way, uh, the brief summary by now. So. Let's use this brief. Let's see the sitemap and the wireframe. And then we're going to go into the styles. Uh, I have already played a little bit with the styles, but I will um, change and I will show you how to do things. So first of all, let's go to the sitemap. So as you can see, the sitemap is in, it's insane. It's so extensive. Yeah. Look at this. It has, let's go back to, so we have the shop. We even have a wish list. So order tracking page, wish list, shop, product page, cart, checkout, my account, terms and conditions, refund and return policy. Very important last pages, but all in all, <laughs> look at this. Imagine how long it would have taken you to prepare this sitemap for a client. Imagine you just have a, a, a brief from a client, you input it here and then you send this to your client uh, to review it, which you can do from here. You can go here and you can share the project. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go to the homepage a little bit. And yeah, I wanted to say that at the beginning, when I started building websites, I had no clue what to include on each section of the page or homepage about us and so on and so forth. And imagine if you have this and it tells you exactly what to write and what to add to the sections to make them to design them properly. That is priceless, honestly. And speaking of priceless, this is free. This is a free product that you can use from Elementor and please do use it because it's so useful. It's going to help you a lot. So let me just go to wireframes and this is where the fun begins because we get access to the styles. As you can see, the styles are available here. It's this um, icon here. Yeah, well, let's just zoom out and it's working it for us. Um, so, yeah, you can access them from here. So I already added some colors because I was testing it to see how it works. 
but once you hit the wireframe button you can uh, you will get access to styles and initially i was thinking why not have the styles here on this side like relum has it i showed that in a video before and honestly it makes sense although i would like to have the button here and maybe this moved here it would make more sense this way i think or somewhere here i don't know this moved from here to to the bar and this button here because it's for most people who have uh who use the mouse with the right hand i think this makes more sense i don't know you tell me what you think what it would be easier so let's go to styles yeah and as you can see we get colors fonts and logos and i have already added a logo here but the way you do it let me just zoom in on the home page yeah so let's go and click on the logo and you can go and change it from here so you can go and just add a logo let me just see what other logos i have here um not many to be honest <laughs> all right so i'm gonna add the elementor hosting <laughs> logo yeah so the thing is that you cannot change the size from here but that can be done uh in the post-production basically once you have uploaded this uh kit to your elementor website yeah because of course you have the option to download it yeah as a kit and then you can upload it in your elementor website and you can do all these changes there also to be noted because this is very important these colors the fonts and the logo will be carried over to the kit so you are not losing the color scheme you're not losing the fonts you're not losing your logo everything is added in the, in the global styles and site settings and all that so you can rest assured that your kit is ready to be used immediately all right unless you just want to change the color in there that is up to you all right so i don't really like this color to be honest let me just go to colors here yeah and you have suggested colors and if you hover over this tooltip you see these suggested colors are inspired by the details you shared when creating your brief so knowing that now i would maybe mention something about what kind of colors i would like the website to have uh overall because you get background colors as well so this is background this is text and this is just transparent so you have to keep that in mind yeah you can work on the brief with uh the site planner to come to a good uh, suggestion for colors so you can generate more if you want i like this one but let's just go to suggest more i don't really like this one let's see more and as you can see you can navigate through this suggestions like this yeah ah, let's just do another one and then we're gonna go with the one i liked initially <laughs> all right okay so i'm gonna go with this one and that's it that's all you i just clicked on you know randomly it doesn't matter where you click if you click on it it's going to apply the colors to your wireframe so i think this is quite fabulous i'll be honest and let's go to the background so the background is white maybe we can change it with something else maybe a green that is complementary to our already green oh this is too green that's too much yeah so if you have your color you can already add it here yeah you don't have to uh, go in blind let's see if i do this what happens actually no ah, ha, ha, ha. okay so this adds transparency you see the button changes so that's what it was changing so ah this is quite nice this is that really not really uh legible anyway the button yeah so all right I think I like it around here, 70%. Yeah, um, so that's that. So if you want to change the... Yeah, okay, disregard this color, okay? It's not necessarily the best. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look really good. <laughs> yeah, maybe somewhere here. 
I think this is nice. Okay, so what else can we do here? Uh, in terms of styles, uh, in terms of colors, I think that's about it. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to fonts. So you can choose your fonts here, basically only Google fonts. So I don't know, let's go with Inter and is for the heading and Fig Tree is for... Um, and as you can see, they changed. So I want to change the heading with something that is a little bit more... Whoops. Zooming is very uh, intense here. So watch the heading all right let's go with this one yeah this is too much the thing is that there's no other way to um adjust this font so that's all you're getting okay that's fine but i wish there was a way you could adjust you know the the size the width the and everything else that you adjust for a font but I think that's fine. So you have here suggested pairs. So let's go. I like this Poppins and Laura. I've used this before. So let's see how this looks. I think this is pretty good. I think this works. Yeah. This was too much. And also this one is good. Yeah, I like this one, this option. Anyway, so another thing that you can do is basically, uh, for example, we have this FAQ section. Yeah. So if you want to change it, you don't like this wireframe for it. You can go here to sections, yeah, and it gives you suggestions for FAQ sections. So you can hover over and it will change it on the uh, page itself. So you can see how it looks, yeah? I think this is very, very useful. I really love it. Okay, this one is not very nice. What happened here? <laughs> I think I like this one. So I'm going to pop that in. And all right. So as you can see, the section now has no color uh, in terms of background. So we would have to go uh, to colors, go to additional colors and probably click again on background. No, that's not going to take effect. All right. So, yeah, I wish there was a way for this to be adjusted individually uh, after you have added the section anyway that is not an option so having that in mind make your changes before you apply any styles so if you don't like a section either delete it or change it and then play around with your styles okay specifically your colors but also your fonts because i think these are not the fonts that uh, are the ones that we have chosen yeah anyway it doesn't matter but you have to keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't like this one, for example. I'm going to look for a different section. Something that is a little bit more toned down. Oh, this is nice. You know, it's your classic, you know, client gallery, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the one I liked. This one. And there you go. And as I said before, you can simply download this and import it in your website and... It's good to go. Of course, you can work on it, but you start with already a base. You don't have to start from scratch. And keep in mind that is already this is already optimized for three devices: for desktop, for the for tablet, yeah, and for mobile. Let's go to mobile. I mean, imagine how long it would take you to make this for a client, yeah more or less it's going to look like this of course the font might be bigger uh, but this needs to be adjusted in the in the website because as you can see you don't have the option to change the size here unless i am missing something. yeah i'm curious if they're gonna add more to the styles in the future i hope so because that's gonna be very useful but until then I think this is quite an improvement. And let's create the website. Yeah. So you have the option to launch a fully hosted website or import your kit to a site that you already have. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to continue. And as you can see it, you can add your URL here so you can connect your site and they will apply the kit automatically, which is fantastic. I love it. Or you just download this and you apply it manually yourself, which is quite fine, quite okay. But this is amazing as well. You have the option to do that. So it's going to take some time. I don't know how long it takes. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. 
depends on the size of your kit that you have generated but yeah i think it's quite cool so i highly recommend that you use this because honestly it's a free product you should just use it and have fun with it try to see how you can uh, push the limits of it to um you know produce something super interesting all right so our site is ready our kit is ready so we can download it and yep now we can just go on the website and apply it i'm not gonna do that but yeah that is possible so i think that's a great improvement and i think uh we're gonna see more coming uh from elementor uh when it comes to site planner and they're working hard on a lot of things but yeah guys use it there is no reason for you not to use it. Honestly, use it. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.